Tidio Lyro AI Chatbot Tutorial. And in this video, we will tell you how to set up an AI chatbot for your website. So now let's dive right in. So go to Google and search for the website by searching TDO, and they will take you to their website. So on their dashboard, they tell you their reviews and their partnerships and and so much more that they can offer you. So they have more options here, integrations with Shopify, WordPress, all platforms, messengers, and all sources of uh, websites that could be applied by using TDO Chat AI. So it's a new approach to AI chat boxes. It helps you utilize your sets of questions that you add manually to it. So it may help to have natural way of language processing. It's a conversational AI tool or bot that talks to your customers and answer the questions using only your support content. The good thing about this is they have also a get demo example of how is it going to look like on your website. So you just have to click here and click on get demo and the AI chat box will soon pop up on your bottom right and they have your sets of questions right here. Now you can now start asking questions like, hi, now that I have given my email address, it gives me an example of how it's going to look like. All right Now, as you can see, it's replying like having a natural language conversation. Let's say, how uh, does your product work? Now, it will generate questions based on their frequently added questions or their facts, the FAQs, and then it will provide you all the information that they have here. Well, this is technically how it's overviewing or how it works. If the AI chatbot cannot answer your main questions, you can now go to their customer service that you can talk to a person. So click on it and it will show you a complete list of who are you going to be contacting it. The more precise your prompts are, the more accurate the response you will receive. I think it's time for us to set up our own account. In order for you to set up Lyro, there will be the terms and agreements that you need to accept. But let's just see if I could get started right away. So now, click on Get Started. Write your email, your password, right? and the website you're going to use. So right now, I'm just going to borrow MailChimp's website. So again, I'm just going to be doing this just for an example for this tutorial. All right, never. Now you're, they're going to ask you for your first name. So let's say tutor. My name is tutor123. And then a job that best describe what I do. So right now I'm just going to be using customer success agent or let's say others because I'm not pretty sure what I should add here because I'm just doing this for tutorials. All right, website email. Next, industry services. Okay, just complete all the information that they ask you, honestly. So, whenever they ask uh, questions on your website, they will provide you a very efficient way of using their chatbots. Okay, now let's, we could go with enable Lyro and AI support agent and let's click on let's go. So, moving on, you will see this as an example. Now, you can also start and test it out already, but right now we need to know what the features are that they offer here. So they have setting up your chat widgets, enable AI support. This is where you're going to be setting up your Lyro AI. They have help desks, how you can add your signatures, creating your first tickets or inboxes, connecting your emails. And then this is the test of flow, how you're going to review the automated images because you can also make your own style of replying based on your personal preferences, right? And then they have mobile apps and you can also install the desktop app. So now it's time for us to set up your Lyro AI. So let's begin with clicking on set up Lyro AI. And then it says here, it's showing you an example of how it works, and then you can click on Activate Lyro. So this is what I said, the terms and agreements. Now, probably because of data privacy, bias, and its behavior towards real people. So now, once you have understood their purposes, click on Accept. Now, you need to add some of your websites. Right now, I'm just using an example from MailChimp. Once you have 
uploaded all the websites that you are affiliated with. You can now go upload and it will take progress for them to find all the frequently added questions. Before the previous version, they you need to find the link for the FAQs, but now you just have to send their websites and then you are good to go. So while you're waiting for it, we can go for the other sources that they have here. So they have suggestions. All right. They also have inquiry-based topics. All right. They collect questions depends on the websites, and they have the playground is where you test your uh, chatbots and how it's going to be performing. Now, here are some tasks that allows you to customize your messaging for specific use and cases. To make your chatbots more creative by adding emojis, you can also explore templates on how you're going to give an idea on how they're going to be looking like just like return policies how do you think your chat bots will reply for return policies checking order statuses uh, offer discount codes and exchange policy so they have more of them to offer than just saying the email but also giving you a direct message that tells you how you're going to be giving them their discount codes the good thing about this is you can update discount codes based on monthly subscriptions of your website or maybe do you have like seasonal discount codes? Let's say Christmas. After Christmas, you want to cut the discount codes, it's gone. So you have all the options and flexibility on how you're going to be using this Lyro AI chatbot. Moving on, while we are still waiting for my data to be uploaded, now when you see that it's used, you are now ready to ask questions. You can go to Playground and test out your Lyro, right? Now, I would suggest asking some few questions that might be relevant from your website before you click on activate. So let's say, by the way, they also provide you with the questions that is based from your own website. So let's see what features are included in MailChimp standard plan. So now they will tell you what they're going including. Boom, they are all completed. Now this is how it's going to work in your websites. By going through your data sources, you can also add your own QA. So we can say, if you have a specific question that people will ask you, you can uh, give your own personal question for this answer. And the best thing about this is they don't just copy and paste the answers that you make. They learn from what you wrote in your information. So they collect the data from your answers and then they use uh, AI generated answers to make it more naturally having in their conversations and that that is completely nifty. Now they also offer different ways and how you're going to be using it and also of course the way they manage uh, how you make a conversation you can also track and monitor who they have conversation with. You can see their emails their IP addresses, and so on and so forth. There's going to be a lot more for you to know in this AI chat box. AI chat bots is not just for chatting, but you can also add different kinds of templates that can really improve the way you're having um, customer supports. You can add something like cart boosters, post-purchase discounts, an order bot, welcoming visitors, spinning wheel, giving you an uh, adding a fun activity and increase customers' interaction by giving them some points. So let's just try this spinning wheel, all right? So just click on learn more. And if you want to use the template and you're ready, click on template. But if you want to try it out first before you put it there, let's uh, put it to the test, all right? So it will give you a new page for you to try it out and it will look like this in your website. So now you can now click on try your luck and it will reply in, in this message. After that message was given, they will be giving you some special coupon code on this checkout. So it's pretty handy, it's pretty interactive and pretty useful for your website. So now I guess that covers most of our basic tutorials for how to use Lyro. And now as a website owner, you can also monitor how your chatbot functions. Just in case it's not functioning well or if it's sending some annoying or repeated responses. 
Besides, they only rely on the data that you're feeding it with. So with that much said, Lyra is giving you full control of its function and not just sending any random chats to people. You don't obviously want a, uh, a very annoying addition to your website. It's and, and of course, it's not just for bells and whistles kind of stuff. You wanted something that really brings life into your website to make it more active and responsive and helpful with your visitors and customers. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. And there are still more to cover in using Lyra, but as far as it goes, these are your beginner steps on learning how to use Lyra for your website. And we'll see you soon for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.